In this video, I'm gonna tell you about a brand new toy that I just got that will make my online store over a million dollars in the next few years by printing custom products online. Now, based on the hundreds of email questions that I get every day and the comments on my last video on print-on-demand companies, I know that a lot of you have been diving into the world of print-on-demand dropshipping. And while print-on-demand is a great way to get started selling online with very little upfront investment, if you wanna make real money selling online, you have to take the next logical step with your business and that's to get your own printer. Getting your own printer will pretty much skyrocket your profits, and it's not as expensive as you think, especially if you go the leasing route. That's right, in order to make significantly more money, you need to forget about print on demand. Recently, I got my own DTF printer from Sublistar, and it was easily the best decision that I ever made in terms of flexibility, quality, and more importantly, profit. What's up everyone, my name is Steve Chu and I run two seven-figure businesses over at BumblebeeLinens.com where we sell custom embroidered linens and my e-commerce blog over at MyWifeQuitterJob.com. I'm also the author of the Wall Street Journal best-selling book, The Family First Entrepreneur. Now before I give you a full tour of my brand new toy, I wanted to quickly run the numbers by you to show you why you should forget about print-on-demand and consider buying or leasing your own printer. Now if you've been following me for any length of time, you know by now that my 9 and 11-year-old kids started their own print-on-demand t-shirt company over at kidincharge.com a while back. And even though they've sold quite a few shirts, the biggest problem with print-on-demand is that the margins suck. Take this t-shirt, for example, from my kid's store. We use Printful as our print-on-demand company, and they charge $14.95 for this t-shirt to be printed. Now, on my kid's shop, these shirts sell for about 20 bucks, and they pocket about $5 in profit for every sale only five bucks. Now that's fine for a couple of elementary school kids, but let's say your goal is to make $100,000 in profit in a year. That's 20,000 shirts that you'd have to sell. And if you do the math, that's 55 shirts per day. And sure, it's doable, but it's gonna be tough. Meanwhile, if you lease or buy your own DTF printer, and I'll explain what DTF is in just a moment, the cost to print a pretty complex design on a t-shirt costs roughly $1.40 per shirt. Now, if you look on alibaba.com for blank t-shirts, you can buy them for about $2.50 per piece. And you add those two numbers together, and it only costs about $3.90 to print your own apparel. Now, compare that to Printful, who charges $14.95, and you're basically making 3.8x times more money by printing the shirt yourself. All of a sudden, you only have to sell 14 t-shirts a day to make $100,000 in a year. It makes a huge difference. All right, you can probably judge by my energy that I'm super excited to show you my brand new toy at the office. Now this printer that you see here is the Sublistar A3 Star 4 desktop DTF printer and it allows me to print any design that I want on practically any object that I want. I can print on handkerchiefs, napkins, pillowcases, towels, bags, practically anything that we sell. And with our business over at BumblebeeLinens.com, we currently only offer custom embroidery on our linens. But here's the problem with embroidery. One, you can't really stitch complicated designs on a handkerchief. Two, you can't really embroider on products like pillowcases unless you rip apart the pillow, remove the seams, do the embroidery, and stitch the pillow back together. And three, it takes forever to embroider something on fabric. Meanwhile, we've considered using a print-on-demand company for our business to handle our printing needs, but here's the problem with print-on-demand. One, most print-on-demand companies are only willing to print on merchandise that they supply. They will almost never print on something that you send to them. Two, the profit sucks, as I mentioned earlier. And three, the turnaround times are significantly longer than when printed in-house. Now, all the reasons that I just specified make it a no-brainer to get your own printer. And ultimately, we decided to get the Sublistar A3 Star 4 printer for three main reasons. So first off, there are many companies that sell direct-to-film printers, but Sublistar has been doing this for over 13 years, and this is their specialty. Digital and textile printing is what they are known for, and they make industrial strength printers that are very price competitive and extremely reliable. Now, when my wife and I decided to get a machine, we didn't want to get a regular consumer printer, because if you're going to get a printer for a business, you're going to be printing a lot, and you want a company that builds printers that can handle the load. Most consumer DTF printers on the market skimp on the quality of parts. And if you've ever bought a printer from Best Buy, you know what I'm talking about. Sublistar is built to last for commercial use. For example, we own five embroidery machines and they are literally running for six to eight hours every day. And this printer here will be running all day as well and it has to be able to handle the load. 
Now, before I go into depth about the other reasons why we decided to go with Sublistar, give me a minute to explain the technology to you and to show you exactly how it works. And yes, I will give you a full demo in just a sec. Now, there are two types of textile printers that you can buy. One is called DTG, which stands for direct to garment. And the other technology is called DTF, which stands for direct to film. Now, originally, we thought about getting a DTG printer, which allows you to print directly to the fabric on the printer, but we opted against this technology for several reasons. For one thing, you have to pre-treat the fabric by spraying a chemical onto the shirt that allows the ink to absorb into the fabric better. And two, the likelihood of a printing mishap due to wrinkled fabric or loading errors into the machine are much higher with a DTG machine. And finally, you are limited to only printing items that the printer supports due to size limitations. Meanwhile, with a DTF printer, you can literally print on any fabric of any size object. There are no limitations. DTF stands for direct to film, and it's a printing technology that's heavily used in the garment and apparel industry. Now, unlike a typical printer, where the design is printed directly to the fabric, DTF printing involves printing the design onto a special film first. And this film is then transferred onto the garment using heat and pressure. Now, printing to film has a ton of advantages. For one thing, you can print on a wide range of materials, including those that are traditionally hard to print on, like polyester or dark colored fabrics. Also, DTF prints tend to be more durable and resistant to fading compared to other methods. And the best part is that you can literally sell the film itself and have the customer heat press the design onto whatever they want. And this made going with DTF technology a no-brainer. All right, so back to why we decided to go with Sublistar. So first off, we wanted a printer that prints off of a roll of film. Some printers force you to use an 8x11 sheet, which greatly limits what you can print on, but with a roll, you can literally print practically any size image that you want. The Sublistar 4 printer allows you to print a design that is up to 12 inches wide and as long as you want. Second of all, we wanted a printer that is very easy to maintain with anti-clog technology. Now, most of you don't know this, but I used to design color printers for a living way back in 1997. It was my first engineering job out of Stanford, and one of the things that I learned is that ink printers often clog easily, especially if they aren't used for an extended period. Now, what I like about Sublistar is that their printer heads are heated, which pretty much ensures that the ink flows very smoothly. And also, if you don't plan on printing for a little while, or let's say you decide to go on an extended vacation, the printer has an auto cleaning function, which maintains ink flow even when you aren't using the machine. And also, most DTF printers don't have this, but there's a special line in the printer for moisturization, which once again prevents clogs, especially on white ink. All of these features make this machine require much less maintenance than other lower quality printers on the market. Now the printer I got has two premium Epson heads, which basically doubles the speed and efficiency of the printer over lower quality printers with only a single head. So overall, if you're gonna invest in a printer, you wanna get one from a company that specializes in this technology. A lot of the printers you see on the market today are inkjet printers that have been converted over to DTF printing, which is never as efficient. But most importantly, how does it print? Now you all know that I launched my Wall Street Journal bestselling book, The Family First Entrepreneur, not too long ago. And for the rest of this year, if you buy The Family First Entrepreneur and take a photo of yourself at the bookstore with it, I'll send you a custom printed t-shirt with my new Sublistar printer. And just for fun, I'm gonna walk you through the process right now. So first off, I load the design to the printer and print it out on this film. Then I place the film in a container of special DTF powder. Now this step is important because this powder acts like an adhesive, which allows the ink to bond securely with the fabric of your garment. Now you can see here that the powder sticks to the ink kind of like glue. The next step is to put the film into this mini oven, which comes with the printer. Now the oven melts the powder onto the design, which prepares it for transfer. And at this point, you can literally sell this film to anyone online and they can press the design onto practically anything that they want. You can press the design onto pants, leggings, denim, hats, bags, shoes, basically anything made out of fabric. All you need is a heat press. I literally picked up this heat press on Amazon for 100 bucks, and all you gotta do is take your design, put it over the shirt, and press it for about 40 seconds. Then you let the t-shirt air out a little bit, peel off the film, and voila, a beautiful t-shirt at a fraction of the price. 
So here are the key takeaways from this video. Basically, print-on-demand is a fun and easy way to start an e-commerce business selling shirts and bags online. But the margins are pretty horrible, and chances are you'll never make life-changing money this way. If you want to take your business seriously, you should get a DTF printer which nearly 4x's your margins. You can literally lease a DTF printer for as little as $150 a month and keep most of the profit for yourself. And if you do decide to get your own printer, go with a company that specializes in printers like Sublistar. Now that you know how we do it, and if you're not quite ready to take the leap into getting your own printer, make sure you watch this video here to learn about the best print-on-demand companies out there.